Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome to another BD Armory update video. Uh, the last version of BD Armory I covered in one of these videos was 1.4.14 and uh, since then the devs have been hard at work and a couple of weeks ago they dropped the latest major version which is 1.4.18 so we'll be taking a look at that today. In the background you can see a quick fight I threw together between my VTOL, the Stormhawk and my Panthers. Uh, I gave the Stormhawk a bit of an overhaul not that long ago so I just wanted to test it out and give it a bit of an easy target. But uh, yes, VTOLs, there's a bit of a clue as to what we'll be, uh, what we'll be looking at later but uh, we'll get to that in good time. Before we get started, just a quick bit of BD Armory news. Now, I use the Runway Project fork of BD Armory for all of my videos um, because the... Um, the vanilla version, whose current custodian is Papa Joe, um, that had fallen into disrepair, it hadn't been maintained for quite some time. Um, but Papa Joe has now re-emerged and he has done a recompile of the old vanilla BD armory for uh, for KSP 1.12.3. I'm given to understand that there are currently talks ongoing between the uh, the Runway Project version devs and Papa Joe as to how to, um, how to clear up the whole two versions thing, but... Uh, for the time being, I will be sticking with the Runway Project fork for um, for these videos, at least for the foreseeable future. Anyway, with that out of the way, uh, let's get down to business. Uh, now, normally when I do these videos, uh, I have to go and look at the change log, see what's happened to BD Armory since I last did one of these videos, and then it can be quite difficult to decide which kind of three or so things I should focus on for one of these videos, but not this time, because since 1.4.14, there have sort of been three real standout developments that I'm going to um, that I'm going to focus on today. So we start our little tour with a new part. Uh, we're here in the space plane hangar with one of my Red Hawks, and if we just flip this onto its side, that's going to make it easier for us to uh, take a look at this. Uh, go to the BD Armory window. Uh, excuse the immense amount of crap I have in here. It, I just have so many mods installed by this point. Let's uh, grab the Ordnance Bay. Now this is a new part that is part of the um, the core BD Armory parts. Let's just uh, stick you there. Let's uh, let's maneuver you into place so you look a little bit better than that. Bring you out there like that and out there like this. Uh, and that is basically an internal weapons bay, but one that's properly integrated into BD Armory and will work fine with it. Let's just stick uh, a couple of these missiles in here. If I get the right mode, that will help. Uh, let's turn you around like that. Uh, symmetry won't work on this weapons bay, uh, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. at least not if you've got one of them, but uh, more on that a little bit later. And this is sticking out a bit, which doesn't look too good. So let's uh, just grab you. Sorry, my OCD is kicking in. <laughs> you don't really have to do this. It will work fine without... Um, without it. But there you have uh, two Amram missiles in our little weapons bay and if we go and toggle the deployment they disappear inside. Um, yeah and as I said this will work perfectly with BD Armory because it is actually part of the core mod. Um, so I suppose the next logical step is to go and see this thing in combat. So nothing very imaginative here. I've just got two sets of my Red Hawks, one with the bomb bays and one without, sorry the ordnance bays and I've gone a bit overboard. This isn't the nice neat version I actually threw together in the uh, space plane hangar. No, I've stuck two of them on here and um, all of the missiles are now in this thing. Um, because I just I just really want to take a look at this and see how it how it performs and uh, well in that case looks aren't really everything. Um, let's uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. The competition starts, the craft gets away quickly, and yep, that's one Amram out pretty pretty pronto. That was uh, that was quite impressive, yep, they are working well. Now the problem with these things is they are uh, 0.2 tonnes apiece, which is pretty heavy, so uh, they do come with a bit of a cost, a bit of manoeuvrability cost. Now I haven't retuned these, um, oh, I was about to say I haven't retuned these Red Hawks after I put the, uh, the Ordnance Bays on them. Which yeah, it might be um, might be producing some rather nasty results here. Mm. But uh, yeah, at the very least, the parts seem to be working well. Adam Kerman comes around, lines up a shot with a missile, wants to get a sidewinder away, does so eventually, has to dodge some more, dodges a couple well, and then gets hit by another two. No major damage, just some um, nothing fatal, just some minor damage there comes around. I think one of the other Red Hawks has actually taken a bit of a hit. Legolak Kermit in a bit of trouble now. 
Adam Kerman though, still uh, still doing pretty well. I, <laughs> with the fact that these are now much heavier and the fact that I haven't balanced them, I was not expecting this to be um, to be a particularly even fight. In fact, it's now done dear, down to uh, three on one. Well, two and a half on one really. Oh my God, what was that? <laughs> it's two and a half on a half. Um, yeah. But I think we've seen the, how the Ordnance Bay works, and that it does work, and uh, works quite well. So, yeah, you can probably think of something a bit more, should we say, aesthetically refined in the way I've used them here. And the sound bug kicks in, because of course it does. Uh, I think we know how this one is going to pan out, so I think we'll just, um, we'll just leave it here and see what's next on the list. So we're out here on the runway uh, with one of my spike tails. Now it doesn't actually matter what craft you start with for this. Uh, all that matters to show you BD Armory's next little trick is that I am actually in flight mode. I do actually have the uh, the flight window up. Uh, now to, uh, to sort this, I'm just going to quickly bring up the menu. We're going to get rid of the KSP window and I'm going to bring up my main KSP folder. In here, you can see there is a folder called Auto Spawn. Now, this is used by a, uh, a few of the features in the Project Runway Fork of BD Armory. But for today, we're going to use it to show you this very, very brand new. And I mean, this thing is this thing is sort of pre-alpha at the moment. In my Auto Spawn folder, which uh, oops, not that. Which uh, if you don't have, you'll need to uh, you'll need to just create a new folder and name it that. I actually have the Spike Tail Craft file in there. If I go back to the um, Go back to the KSP window. I bring up the uh, BD Armory uh, options. I'm going to set waypoints mode on. We're going to bring up the spawn button. I have set this last value here to 500. If you want to recreate what I'm doing, that is going to be very important. And I am going to click run waypoints. This might take you a second or two. The game will spawn your craft, uh, pointing vertically downwards, but from there it will start the engine. The AI will kick in. Now this is an AI only thing, and it's basically just a little waypoints competition. Um, your craft will spawn in, they will run the length of the course one at a time. If you do try to switch off autopilot mode, you will find that uh, the engine, the throttle just goes to zero and you have absolutely no control over it. Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> right through the middle of the target. Now this, this, as I said, is absolutely brand spanking new. It's hard coded in, it's AI only. In future versions of BD Armory, this should be getting, this should be getting expanded significantly, make it a bit more flexible. But for now, it's just a fun little thing you might want to look out with some of your craft, just to see how they perform one after the other. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is for that one at the moment. Um, but I really do look forward to seeing where uh, where this one goes in the future. Anyway, let's um, let's go and take a look at the final development that I want to uh, feature here today. We're back here in the space plane hangar then, this time with my Hawk Moth attack helicopter, because there is an interesting new part that's been added to BD Armory. And, well, if you've seen the thumbnail, you probably know what it is. But uh, nonetheless, uh, down here we have our AIs. We have our AI pilot flight computer for our aircraft, our service operation driver for our ground vehicles. But wait, what's this? It's the AI vertical takeoff and landing pilot. Yes, BD Armory finally has an AI, uh, a VTOL AI unit, which I've already fitted to my uh, to my hawk moth here if we look here some of this is vtol specific it's pretty much same old same old it's there for you to uh, play about with we do have the attack vector uh, broadside angle uh, attack vector can be bow or broadside this i like this is a lovely little touch goes up to 10 all the tunings um normal but this is actually the unclamped tuning button so if we click that goes up to 11 you've unclamped the tuning all these variables can be put much much higher as i said Nice little touch from the devs there. Um, if we look at the description here, you can see it says experimental. This is another feature that is it, that it's very early days for. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens to this one in the future, but at the moment it's very basic. Well, let's go take a look. So I've taken a couple of hawk moths outside with some fresh air. I've got them flying by myself because this AI is still pretty buggy when it comes to variable pitch stuff like uh, like these hawk moths. As I said, still a work in progress, but at the moment all the AI do, will do is kind of take it up to the set default altitude and just hover there, not really doing anything unless it uh, has guard mode active and has an enemy to fire at. So if we just do that... Oh dear, it's not liking that. No, don't face away from him. What on earth are you doing? 
Oh my god. Yeah, still a work in progress. I'm not sure what they're trying to do. They're extending. Now engaging. Now extending. Oh, come on. Yep, we're getting some broadside action. That other Hawk Moth not doing so well. Yeah, not only does it not do too well with their Ribble Pitch stuff, also anything other than the stock rotors, so some of the Airplane Plus helicopter parts uh, aren't so good for it. I think that other Hawk Moth is probably, yeah, probably not doing too good at the moment. Oh dear. Oh dear. Come on, GT, come and you can land this. No, you can't. And that's pretty much all there is to it at the moment. Uh, as I said, yeah, it's having difficulties, sort of, um, it can't set the deploy angle on this. It's not linked to the uh, to the throttle as it is if I just did it manually. So, as I said, early days, but I really am looking forward to seeing what happens in the future to this. Um, but anyway, that will bring our little tour of new features to an end. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, Great BD Armory and uh, KSP community on there, and uh, much more besides. Uh, Links to all that in the description, as will be a download link to the latest version of BD Armory, the uh, the Runway Project Fork, which I'm using here, as well as links to the PayPal and the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. You too can get your own little patron kerbal to be blown up time and time again, as well as um, access to the patron-only Discord and uh, regular updates. <laughs> They're becoming regular now. I'm making a concerted effort to get that sorted. Um... But yeah, I will be back soon with some more BD Armory. Until then, though, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.